For many of us, Shreveport is home and we all play a key role in keeping Shreveport beautiful. So I'm here with Donna Curtis from Shreveport Green to tell us how you can be a volunteer with the Love Shreveport cleanup happening this weekend. Donna, welcome to the show. Thank you. So you have a very important event happening this weekend. Tell us all about it and well, how we can get involved. Well, this is our uh, wonderful citywide cleanup that is sponsored by, Sh by the city of Shreveport. It's part of Mayor Perkins' campaign wow. to get the city clean and get us as clean as we can be sure. as for economic reasons too. And one of the first, he's done several things, but this is the one to really get involved, the, the, the volunteers and the citizens around Shreveport involved in helping clean up. So we're having a big clean up this weekend. We're all cleaning up. We are. And it's <laughs> how uh, do we do it? Team. Well we know how to clean up, but how do we do it to support this? How do you, well what we do, we have uh, at Shreveport, www.shreveportgreen.org. Okay. You can go on and click on the registration and register your team. We're oh, still registering. Okay. We've got about 700 people already signed wow. up. It's been very successful for this, for August. We were real surprised and so pleased. Wow. I think this is something everybody can come together with and something they feel like they can sure. do to help the city. So do you so. have to have a team to sign up? I'm at Southern University, so I'm going to try to get my university out there and going. So. Do you have to have a team no. or can you join individually? You can join individually. You can sign up and we will, if you would like to be placed with a team, we can wow. help you find a team. We can help you find a location. We can help if you want to go out on your own with a friend or uh, somebody, we can help you with, we can give you a position, to, uh, such a, so a you'll site give us to a clean duty. up. <laughs> and we can give you uh, bags and gloves and t shirt Great. And so you are able to go out and clean up and and um, make the city better. Right. So what is the inspiration behind this? I know it's always great to have a clean city, um, just for obvious reasons. But tell us more about why this is so important and why everybody should get involved. Well, we we think at Shreveport Green, and I know the mayor feels also it's the num one of the num one of the first steps we take in economic development. If a city doesn't look clean, doesn't look neat, it discourages people to come in. Sure. It discourages visitors. It discourages companies to come in. It is an indicator of the people we are in Shreveport and that we put up with this or we might even contribute to it. Yeah. And who wants to hire somebody for their company who has an attitude, uh, an irresponsible attitude. Of not having a of ha pristine, clean city. Well, and not people who aren't willing to take care of the things they Absolutely. create, of the trash they yeah. create, whether it be picking up something at a fast food joint, sure. or if it's coming out of the grocery store and tossing something out. Absolutely. Well, to this weekend, we're going to join in shreveportgreen.org, is it? That's correct. And we will all join in. We're going to get our teams out there. I'm definitely going to get a team. So we will see you there for more information. Go to Shreveport Green. Donna, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. But before we get out of here, Josh has one more check of the weather. Yeah, hoping to get to you some cooler temperatures this weekend as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, especially if you're out there early. It used to be pretty good tape. I think the rain this weekend probably will occur during the afternoon and evening, but uh, we'll all hope for some cooler temperatures. Again, tonight we're having temperatures that dip into the 70s. Uh, so all of us in the mid to upper 70s tonight. So it's going to be a lot like it was uh, here for the past few nights. Tomorrow, do not forget that heat advisory is still in effect for one more day. So we're Wednesday. Uh, we are looking at heat index values 105 to 110 again. Not a lot of fun to be out there after about 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And the seven-day forecast does show you a bit of a cool down late this weekend the weekend should be in the low 90s this weekend if you're out there in the morning should have temperatures in the mid 70s and again uh, a lot of the rain this weekend will be driven by the heating of the day so your rain chances will be a little bit higher especially during the afternoon and evening overnight lows in the 70s so a little bit of progress not quite where we want it to be just yet all i heard was hot 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 um Go to work, leave at 10. That's it. Leave at 10. <laughs> if it was up to me, Wednesday would be canceled zoo. That's so, right. Yeah. That sounds perfect. Cancel Wednesday. Sure. Well, that's all we have for today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow as we take you to a small town with a big personality. And Fernando will take us to a fun place that the entire family can enjoy. We'll have that and more tomorrow only on Loving Living Local.